Man. ATA gang, we in here. Clutch gang, we in here, man. This is your boy, Farrell Michael, man. Welcome back to the Audio Ball Podcast. <clears throat> I know it's been a minute. It's been a minute. But I'm trying to be productive as we can. I got a little, you know, sinuses going on right now, man. So, you know, just bear with me, family. This video is going to be titled, um, The Presence of a Good Woman. Ponder on that. Ponder on that for a minute. The presence, the presence of a good woman, man. Because I remember... I remember, man, I remember how smooth my life was going when I had the presence of a good woman. Not saying that, uh, not saying that my life, you know, just sucks now and all that other shit. But, um, you know, I remember when I had the presence of a good woman on my side. I remember... How smoothly things ran because you know as you know you know what I'm saying God did put man and woman here for each other to help each other one is the provider and the protector and one is the nurturer you know and the peacemaker because you know women are supposed to uh, bring men peace that's that's their job they're supposed to be nurturers and peacemakers you know, uh, men tend to have a a warring spirit about themselves. So, you know, man, shit. I remember, man. I really do. And uh, I, I guess, you know, all of I can safely say all of the negative karma that I might have received in my life has came from, you know, mistreating women and doing certain things. Two women that I shouldn't have been doing. You know, I was, I'm a cancer. Not saying that all cancers are cheaters, but I was a very big cheater. I was a very big, uh, you know, I just, if I laid my eyes on you, on a woman, I wanted her. You know what I'm saying? That's not right. That's especially not right when you have somebody that's worth keeping on your side, you know, Having a having a best friend, having a, a a lover, you know, all these things in one. And I ain't gonna lie, man. You know, I'm afraid. I'm afraid that God might not bless me with um, a good woman, another one, because I've had so many. I have had so many. That, you know, you know, pretty face, banging body, uh, amazing personality, good jobs. You know, I've had nurses and, and uh, all types of women, man. What was uh, the last girl I had? The last girlfriend I had, she worked at like a... Uh, some type of some type of law firm or something like that, <clears throat> and I was always, you know, one foot in, one foot out the street. You know what I'm saying? But the reason why I was getting, you know, women like like that of that, you know, high upper echelon caliber is because I always have something to talk about. I always have something mentally that I can, you know, bring to the table and say, hey, you know. I might be this, but I know something. No, I might, I might do certain things. I might break the law from time to time, but I know something though. So, I've had a lot of women in the medical field, uh, uh, law, um, hustlers too. You know, I've, I've ran into a couple female hustlers too. Um, a woman that I was with for almost five, six years. Uh, she was a chef that has my two daughters. She was a chef. So I've always had, you know, you know, 
banging women. And I'm very thankful for that. You know, I'm very thankful for that. But, you know, um, I think, I think, you know, God is really going to have me wait and be patient, you know. But it's scary, man. It's, you know, it's scary being single. It's scary. Uh, you know, I'm a cancer. I don't really do well with, I'd, I'd rather be in a relationship. You know, I appreciate the company. You know, it's funny, man. It's funny how you can not have something for so long and it and it really just gets a hold of you and it changes your spirit, man. It it, it really changed my spirit. I, I love the company of a good woman. You know, I want a woman so, you know, electrifying to me that, you know, I'm like almost scared to talk to her sometime. I'm almost scared to just be around her, you know, so beautiful, so so passionate about the things that she want to do in life and you know, when a woman really makes you feel like you don't deserve her, man, you know, you should cherish that. You know, you should cherish that, you know, uh, because I didn't. And, you know, y'all, my family, man, as, as my subscribers, man, you know, I don't want y'all to go through the same thing. I don't want y'all to, uh, you know, be put in position where you have something good and you just let it go. Or if not, just let it go, you know, you know. Learn to work together. And uh, the next video I'm going to do is, uh, you know, going to be geared towards the ladies. You know what I'm saying? But this is more so geared towards the men, the, the male subscribers as a warning. You know, do not mistreat women, man. Even if they are, you know, because some women actually are bitches and hoes and all that other shit. But guess what? <clears throat> you That's not your job to show them who they are and what they are, believe me, man, the Most High God will show them who they are and what they are because God showed me what I was when I was uh, out there doing my bullshit and uh, not wanting to not wanting to do right, not wanting to spend time with my woman, just wanting to run the street. I was making money, getting money, but at the end of the day, that ain't shit if you ain't doing nothing with your money, if you're not giving your money some type of direction if you're not if you made eight hundred dollars and you just finna get ready to spend out eight hundred dollars really in all actuality you ain't made shit because you haven't gave your money any direction you're not trying to save that money you're not trying to put back for hard times you're not trying to invest it in something that's going to make you more money and you know I remember, man, my ex, she used to do that. She used to do that. Uh, man, I, I've had a lot of women that were like, damn, they're perfect. They wanted to do what I wanted to do, and I just didn't fucking treat them right. I dogged them out. I dogged them out just because I could, you know? You know? And that ain't right, man. You know? When, once you all alone, and you laying in your bed at night, and it's just you, and you got, and it's just you and God, and you got time to think and see the area of your ways, man, that shit hurts. It hurts. You know, I spent many a nights, uh, you know, in tears, you know, crying, crying about some of the things that I've done. Uh, you know, just, just, you know, I was a totally different nigga, man. Just angry, full of hate. Uh, a lot of different things, you know, that, that I shouldn't have been, you know. So, uh, I'm more so geared on a positive note nowadays. I'm more so, uh, Asking God to give me a preparing spirit. I want all the blessings that I can I can handle because I need them, you know. But the biggest blessing is a woman that wants to truly spend the rest of her life with me. That's going to be my my lover, my best friend, uh, my companion, just my everything, man. And I can be her everything. That shit is very real, and it, it, the dating scene is very different because uh, everything is uh, materialistic and superficial. Y'all got to put that bullshit to the side. You know, uh, your man, not, ladies, your man not, might not have a damn 2019 AMG Benz. Or, or he might not drive a, a 2019 BMW. He might ride the bike or be on the bus, but you don't want to talk to him because he ain't got no money. And then you think you're going to run into a good man. You think you're going to run into somebody that's going to treat you with love and respect and all that and all that jazz, man. You know, so y'all y'all gotta be careful of that. Y'all gotta be careful of the things that you want. You gotta be careful of the things that you wish for. And 
Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. You got to be careful of the things that you ask for, and you just got to be well aware of uh, what you want. Men, you got to be well aware of what you want in a woman, and women, you got to be well aware of what you want in a man. <laughs> And uh, love is a very beautiful thing, man. I miss it. I ain't gonna lie. You know, when I started my YouTube channel, man, I told y'all I was gonna give y'all the real. I told y'all I was gonna give y'all, you know, the raw, uncut me. You know, every time I go through a situation, I vlog about it. Every time I, you know, I need to just get in a good stride of doing at least two to three videos a day. Even if my, you know, my views only, my videos are only getting like 20, 20 views for right now. But you know what? Guess what? I'm thankful for those views. I'm thankful for the people that that took time to watch my video and hear what I got to say. I'm thankful for everything, man. I'm thankful for the littlest things nowadays because it was a time where I had everything I wanted and I didn't give a fuck. I didn't appreciate it, man. So, uh, you know, that's very, I find it very ironic that, you know, I don't know. I guess I'm just amazed at myself for how much I changed and how much I wanted to improve in life man and I miss I miss being in love I miss having somebody roll over in the middle of the night and just to ask me if I'm okay I miss you know spending time with my woman and just you know I want to I, I, I'm a lover's man you know I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not a player at all I'm a lover's man and um I miss that shit so uh I'm warning you guys this is the warning don't be like me don't be uh lonely don't be, uh, you know, you, you got a good woman, you better hold on to her with your life. Treat her like a queen. Rub her feet. Give her hot oil massages. Make love to her. Uh, spend time with your woman. Do do anything and everything you got to do to keep your woman, man, because I didn't. And I had some queens. I mean, some, some, some queens, straight up queens that God has blessed me with, man. You know, so... You know, and I, I just pray that, you know, God, you know, forgive me and bless me again one day, man, because I, I can't do all this shit alone. You know, I got a lot of, a lot of things on my plate that I want to do. I got a lot of things that I, I want to get done. And man, I can't do this alone. I can't. I need my companion. I need my lover. I need my best friend. I need my everything by my side because I'm ready for her now. You know, I'm ready for her. <clears throat> at, at, at a time, I wasn't. At one time, I wasn't. And, um, you know, I missed that. So, you know, I thank y'all for tuning in with me, man. Uh, the next video I'm going to do is going to be geared towards the, the females. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you got a good man, hold on to him. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, this your boy, Pharaoh Michael, man. You don't shine until you wholehearted with the grind. No, I'm not in my feelings. Uh, I'm just giving you the real, man, because I don't want y'all to go through this shit. I don't want my subscribers you know, I don't want, you know, people that's not my subscribers to go through this shit, man. If you got you a good woman, the presence of a woman is a blessing, man. You know, and, you know, not to say that the woman I was dealing with was perfect, but damn, hey, man, you know, they were trying to be perfect for me, you know, and I should have been trying to be perfect and Superman for them. You know, if a woman is willing, willing to be Wonder Woman for me, I'm willing to be Superman for her, and that's just that, man. We got we got to stop this shit. We got you know the 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 male and female energy is 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 running amok, man. You know if you want somebody that's 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 for you, man, and y'all want to be happy and spend the rest of y'all life together, man. I have I have I miss just being happy in general, man. You know I I'm happy, you know, and I, I and, you know I'm I'll be patient and diligent and wait on my wife. But at the same time, um, you know, I miss it. I miss being in love. Love is a very beautifully dangerous thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not afraid to get beat down by love. You know, I deserve to get beat down by love at one point in time because I wouldn't do right by the women that I had. So karma will come to get you. If you're out here hurting these queens and they don't deserve it, you know, karma will come and get you. You know, you want a woman that's going to treat you good, you need to be a man that's going to treat a woman good, you know. You know, men are supposed to provide and protect, and the minute you ain't doing that, you ain't no fucking man, if you ask me. 
So, uh, man, I, I love y'all, man, and I appreciate y'all for tuning in to all the above podcasts, man. This your boy, Pharrell Michael, and I'm on up out of here. Yeedy down.